Hello everybody! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been nearly five months since I uploaded a video. I went back to school this last semester and I really wanted to dial it in and focus on getting my grades up, so I didn't make any time for YouTube. However, I did make some time to read. So that's what this video is. It's actually New Year's Eve right now. It's about 5 14 p.m. and I'm calling it <laughs> for the year and seeing as I won't be able to finish another book before the end of this evening it's time to do my wrap-ups for the year of 2019 and today I want to talk about my top 10 best books that I read during 2019 and there's also one honorable mention it has been a long year I read 60 books and so much has happened in my personal life and in the world since then. So it's interesting and fun to look back 365 days ago to what I thought about the books I read then. Out of the 60 books that I read, about half of them were new books for me. I like to reread my old favorites, Twilight, Harry Potter, Ender's Game. Those get read every year. <laughs> But these books are books that I had not read before. I finally got around to listening to the audiobooks of four very famous books. I had originally attempted to read these too young. I got them as a book set and it was still just a little too heavy, but I found the audiobooks. It was smooth sailing from there. I read The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. I wouldn't say I read them. I listened to the audiobooks. I can't remember who the narrator is. I've mentioned it in previous videos. He was amazing and he really brought them to life for me. I will probably listen to them again soon. I also have watched all the movies again this year. It's just classic. I love the world building and the characters. It was excellent. I'm really glad I got to these this year. The next book I have also previously mentioned in one of my videos, I read this book on a road trip across the country, moving my in-laws, The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. This book was a recommendation from Emma Books here on YouTube. This book was a hard, hard read for me. The main character at the very beginning of the book is raped by her brother's best friend. I cried a lot in the very beginning and it set in some anxiety uh, from my own previous experiences with sexual assault but I'm glad that I pushed through it. I love the depiction and the detail of how a trauma like that can change a person because after my own assault, I went through some changes and I related very, very strongly to the main character. At the end of the book, I was alone in a Motel 6 <laughs> room. My whole family was in the other in a different room and I was in there just crying my eyes out finishing this book but I loved it. I gave it five out of five stars and I'm pretty sure that Amber Smith responded on my Instagram post about this book so that's also really cool. I will put a trigger warning on that book for rape and drug use and alcohol. Like, it's rough but it's good. When people have been asking me this year what is the best book that I've read recently or what is, you know, the best book that I read this year, this book. Oh, I am obsessed with this book. Before She Knew Him by Peter Swanson. This was part of my book of the month subscription that I had for a little while and then canceled. This is like a murder mystery, psychological thriller. It was my first dip into that genre at all and I couldn't put it down. It kind of gave me like, like at night I would have to watch like a puppy video or something to help calm the anxiety because <laughs> it was so vivid. The details were so good. There's two neighbors. Right at the beginning you know who the murderer is but you're inside his head and then you're inside the neighbor's head who knows that he what he did and he knows that she knows that he knows that he did it <laughs> it gets really like creepy and then it escalates and ugh. i loved 
this book so much. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. I can't find it anywhere, like in bookstores. I've looked in Barnes and Noble and Target, Walmart, you know, where you buy books and I can't find this anywhere, so I'm hoping this is available on Amazon. You can also follow Peter Swanson's Instagram, which I do. I got a lot of use out of my Kindle right at the very beginning of the year, and then I canceled my Kindle Unlimited. For most of the year, I wasn't using my Kindle at all. But one of the books that I did read on my Kindle, and I'll put the cover here, is What If It's Us? And I believe it's by Becky Albertalli and another author. Whatever, the cover's here. <laughs> By these two people. And it is the cutest gay teen romantic fiction I have ever read. I have recommended it to everybody. I have one of my friends, one of my previous co-workers, who has read it or listened to it several times, and he loves it. It's about two boys who just happen to have a chance meeting in a post office in New York City. They don't exchange any contact information and then they go their separate ways. And it goes through how each of them sets about finding the other and how they reconnect and how their relationship goes. And it's so cute. <laughs> it's everything. I love YA romance anyway. Ooh. You need to read What If It's Us. Everybody needs to read What If It's Us. The last three books, before we get to my honorable mention, are all books that occur in the Halo universe. Halo being the world-renowned, best-selling video game franchise. I love Halo. I have loved Halo since I was a child. I love the books. If you look here, you can see I have. we now own every single book that has been published uh, for the Halo series. I have a Halo tattoo. Like, I love Halo. So two of the three Halo books that I read are actually part of the same sub-series within the series, and that is New Blood by Matt Forbeck and Bad Blood by Matt Forbeck. This follows Buck, who is an ODST in Halo 3. New Blood happens after Halo 3, while Master Chief is missing and floating in space, asleep. And it follows Buck and his team of orbital drop shock troopers, ODSTs, called the Alpha 9. There is action and suspense and betrayal. I kind of knew what was going to happen. My husband kind of warned me, but it was still kind of shocking at the end. Um, and then it follows, followed by Bad Blood. This takes place after Halo 5, and it's still told from the perspective of Buck, and he has to get his old team back together. In Halo 5, he teams up with Team Osiris, and here he has to get back with the Alpha 9 team to find some rebels and some insurrectionists. I really enjoyed these. I read them at work and had grown... 45 year old men asking me about them. <laughs> the last Halo book that I really enjoyed this year, Halo Silent Storm, a Master Chief story by Troy Denning. I love this. This is following the Master Chief. Before he becomes the Master Chief, he's 15 when this story happens. It goes through Operation Silent Storm and what he goes through how he meets Sergeant Johnson. These words mean nothing to people who haven't played Halo, so I apologize for that, but if you have played Halo or know the story, you know what I'm talking about. There's like seven games worth of lore, and I'm not gonna try and sum that up right now, so. I loved it. I loved the relationship that Chief had with Johnson. In the games, we never saw how that relationship started, and it was really cool to see how Chief led his team of young Spartans, because in some of the other books, we see him leading them as their full adults that have been fighting for decades. And here they've only been fighting for a few years. And on to my honorable mention, the one that stuck out to me the most is called The Wrong Co-Star. I read one of the companion novels last year on my Kindle Unlimited that was called the Wrong Bachelor, and it was super cute, super corny. You knew the ending from the beginning. You knew how who was going to end up with who. Fun, lighthearted, 
YA romance. I believe that we're getting a third installment eventually in the wrong the wrong series. I read the wrong co-star in maybe three hours. I just sat down and plowed through it. <laughs> That's it for the best books from 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. In the comments down below, let me know your favorite book that you read this year. If you read any of the ones that I read, I also would like to hear that. We can discuss. I do really want to get back into making more YouTube videos. I love to talk about my books and my projects. So here's hoping that I can actually get my act together and post videos regularly again. Thank you so much for watching. What is this? Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!